Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a solid surface sink onto a Corian countertop. So this is a vanity sink. So it's 16 by 13, pretty standard sink. This brand happens to be a Coran sink, so it's not an actual Corian sink, but they amount the same. Um, to start with, I have a CNC router, so I cut the sink hole out prior to mounting the sink. In your case, you're going to have to have a sink template or you're going to have to mark it out with the paper template that they give you and then you have to jigsaw it out or however you want to do that. But you'll have to cut the hole out to match the sink. That's not what this video is about. This video is just how to glue that sink onto the bottom of the, the material and get it all lined up properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to have to get a center line down the middle of this sink so it's equal distance in the middle so that we can use the center lines on the sink to line that up because we don't want to get that sink twisted. So I'm going to take a square. The front of my countertop is square with the sink. Okay, so in my case it's 8 and 3 16. So I've got 8 and 3 16 to both to the square. And you're just going to put a center line on that. The next step is you're going to take the sink, and most sinks have a center line on it, so I just mark it with a pencil right down on both the front and the back. I want to take this sink, flip it over, and we're going to line it up with that pencil line. Now I have to move the sink forward and back so that it sits within that opening because I need to write setback. So in this case, I need to push it back quite a ways. And so now it's centered on that hole because again, the, the sink hole that I cut matched this sink perfectly and it sticks out maybe an eighth of an inch into the sink. That'll be trimmed later. But in doing that, I can just make it even front and back and I know that my setback is correct. In your case, you're going to need to make sure that your setback is the way you want it. Usually it's about four inches, somewhere around there. Once you get that, then you're going to feel on the inside of the opening to make sure that the the countertop is overhanging into the sink all the way around. And just a tip, it's not always going to hang out perfectly all the way around. It just these sinks, all the solid surface sinks, they're not perfect. So you just have to make sure that you've got some space. What you want to make sure of though is the sink isn't twisted because if it's twisted, when you go to trim it out and you flip it over, you'll see that the, the sink is sitting twisted. That's why you're putting the straight line or the square line on the countertop and then you're marking your center lines on your sink. And that'll keep it basically square to the front of the, the edge here. Okay, so the next process is I'm going to put these little blocks in four places and these are going to stay on there. We're not going to ever take these things off. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect anything. It just makes it so that when you put the glue on, it's going to sit in between these blocks. And I'm going to use hot glue. To stick these on. So you just put a little dab of glue right there. Okay. So now we have the, the, the sink in the right position that we want, but I'm going to mark one of the blocks here so that sometimes the sinks twist a little bit and I don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to take a pencil and I'll mark the sides of this block right here and I'm just going to put an X right there. And it's very simple so then when I put the sink back on there, I'll know that if it gets twisted, sometimes it just moves a little bit. And some sinks are different. So we're going to take the sink off. Now we have to remove this pencil line because it'll bleed into the, the, the uh, sink opening. We gotta clean this, but before we do that, we need to attach this block right here to the front. And I'm gonna put a clamp here to clamp this down because I'm gonna use a, a pipe clamp here to clamp down this sink to the countertop. And I'm gonna use this to clamp the front of it. There's other methods by which you can clamp this down. You could just get a long extension clamp and clamp this thing. But I use this because a spring clamp puts a perfect amount of pressure on the sink and it, it seems to be pretty easy. So we're going to use hot melt glue again. I 
I just put it down about a half inch. Okay, so we're good with that. So this is, I use acetone to clean the parts. You might use something different. It depends on what state you're in. Um, some states allow you to use denatured alcohol. That's what we used to use. Uh, but then we can't get that here in California, so we have to use acetone or some other product. So I clean all the line off of there, right there. Okay. So now that's clean, the sink's clean, and we're ready to glue it on. So, the next step is let me get matching glue. I'm using um, rice paper glue to glue this on. You can use the color of the glue, the, I'm sorry, the color of the sink if you like. So this is a glacier white sink, but I'm gonna use rice paper on this. So this is Corian rice paper glue. I just squeeze out a little bit of here to make sure both the color and the hardener are coming out of there. Just like that. Put the tip on, retainer nut on. And then I also squeeze this out a little bit here just to make sure it's going good. So now we're going to go around here twice. And then I might go around a third time if I feel like there's any voids or there's not enough glue in one spot. I don't put, I put all the glue up front here and hope that pretty much it, it squeezes out the backside. And it typically does. Sometimes you have a little void here and there. But um, we want to make sure that we have no void around the opening of that sink because that's where you're going to see a glue line if you, if you have a void. And once you flip this over and glue it down, sometimes it's very difficult to see if you have the glue coming out in the the right amount because it's just the difficult to see in there. Okay, now I'm gonna go around there one more time. That way I don't have any uh, wet spots on the glue. I know that it's all, all going to cure real good. And now just check for any voids you might have right there. Seems like it's a little further than I want. Maybe right here. Okay. That's it. So I'm just going to take this sink. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to line up that little mark that I put on there and kind of just squeeze it down. Now we're going to take a bar clamp. I'm going to take off the end of it, slide it down the drain. And this 2x4 right here has a hole in it and it spans the width of the sink. That's going to slide up the bar, the end of the clamp bar. And I make that go parallel with the countertop. And I'm just going to tighten this up, but I'm only using I'm only using my thumb and forefinger. I don't want to crank this down. For two reasons. I don't want to squeeze all the glue out because this this clamp is really strong. And on this particular stick, I don't want to break out this little drain section. So that squeezes out the bottom. You can start to see glue coming out here. And as it, as it stays like in this position, it starts to squeeze out more and more glue over time until it's left. This is a, a spring clamp. I'm going to put this on the countertop in the front, and it's going to stick onto that wood block that I put on there, and it's going to put the proper amount of pressure on the front. All right, so the glue is squeezing out. 
all the way around there. That's it. That's all there is to it. So there's other, obviously there's other ways to, to mount a sink. This is a pretty easy way of doing it. Pretty straightforward. Some other options where you can put weight on this. You can also use um, clamps that reach in here and you can put a clamp at the four corners. But really the most important thing is to get this position square to the front of the sink. So the, the center line marking and marking the center line on the sink are extremely important. If it gets crooked, they look really bad and they, it doesn't take much to get it out of square. So anyway, um, there's some other videos that I have of me trimming these sinks. So you can look for those videos. Um, but that's pretty much it. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.